Greetings, everybody. There's a few things I want to address in this video. I think it's very important for me to address these things. First and foremost, I might be a YouTube personality, but I'm not an internet sensation. I never want to be that. The kind of person that I am doesn't like too much exposure. I really don't. And I'm someone who doesn't um, invite uh, all kinds of people into my life. So I might know you and I might be civil towards you, but some people, you, you know, you will never be my friend. You will never be someone that I would sit down and socialize with. There are some individuals that you keep at bay. You say hi and you buy. You can't be friendly with everybody. Everybody's just not going to be your friend. Everyone is not going to like you and you're not going to like everyone. Okay. When you invite folks into your circle, and these individuals, you have a connection with them. When they come to your circle and you find that they're bringing with them discord or they're bringing some kind of negative energy, you have to dismiss these people and you cannot feel bad about dismissing them. For example, on Facebook, I had a, I have a Facebook page and I've had it for years. And I, the, the most people I've had on, on my Facebook, I think, are 11 people. And usually it goes down to five. And most of that is my family, my family members. I've hesitated to build that Facebook in spite of all the requests that I get because I just don't like the negative energy and vibration that Facebook tends to, to bring into people's lives because you invite people into your life by adding them to your Facebook and all of a sudden they want to take over your life. You know, you, you, when you used to be able to post anything when you're ranting and you post anything on your page, when you had no one on your Facebook, you used to do it. And when these individuals come, you can't do it anymore because you feel like anything you say, people are thinking that you're talking about them. Last night, for example, I went on Facebook and I saw Jamaica Observer. I saw um, Loop News. I saw a few social media personalities talking about the Miss, Univ Miss World win. You all know how I feel about beauty pageants. I don't care for them. Okay. And um, so I was saying now that the, the masters have uh, given you permission to see yourself as beautiful. Now what? That's my opinion. Every beauty queen is now African. And, you know, people celebrate that. That's wonderful. But I don't need somebody else to tell me this is your season. Now it's okay. We're see, just like how we excluded you and we said that you were not good enough. Now we will also be the ones to turn around and include you and tell you that now you're beautiful. And now that you're telling me that I'm beautiful, I reject it. That's just my personality. Now that you're telling me that I have what it takes to be lovely, I said, if you... I don't walk with the crowd. I don't have the same mindset as everybody. Okay. Now what I'm seeking uh, at this, as the year ends and the one opens is to walk into a new path. One of peace and abundance. Peace and abundance in everything. Health, wealth, every situation. And I ain't got time for drama. That's why I've sort of removed myself from listening to all these drama programs, listening to these all these gossips and all these melees. Because all they do is lower my frequency, lower my vibration. If you are not about building me up, if you're not about, you know, uplifting me, helping me, pushing me to climb to the top of the of the pyramid. And when I get to the top of that pyramid, I'm pulling you up there with me. I want to see you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear you. If you're on your drama, if you stay stuck talking about bad man relationship and what man did to you and what woman do and how man wicked and how white people evil and how white people wicked and how this, that, and the other. I'm, I'm not listening to all of that. Police kill who, what. You, we all know. These things happen in the past. They will always happen. As long as human beings live on the face of this earth. People, black, white, yellow, green, orange, they will do what they have to do for, the, you know, to feed the energy, whether it be good or bad. I don't have no time to be talking about what other people are doing. I'm focusing on doing me. 
doing what's best for me. I don't have time for the drama and I don't have time. And I look at you with a side eye when every day you do, you're talking about white people and you're surrounded by white folks. You say, you know, white people, this white people, that, and they're your friends. They're each up underneath you everywhere. And yet every day, if I was a white person and when I look on your page, all you do is talk trash about me and you claim that you're my friend. What is that? You're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. I'm not joining you. I'm not joining no white people talking bad things about their own people. Because I can, nobody can come to me and ask me to say anything bad about my people. I talk about my own experiences. I'm about building and I'm building with nobody. Because in the past, I used to think of building with my own. I learned a valuable lesson. You can't build with people who are broken. Because every time you put the pieces together, they're going to chip it off. They're going to chip it off. I don't got no time. I don't have no time building with you. I'm building with myself. Black people, first of all, don't support each other for the most part. Black people only want to see one person rise up before they start tearing you down. And in the, in, in the meantime, they're pretending that they care for you. They look for your enemy and support your enemy. Not because they want the enemy to do well, but because they want to, because they hate you so much that they join with the one who you don't like or the one who don't like you. Okay? Black folks don't care about uh, each other like that. We need to stop with the BS. Someone asked me a while back, you know, when I mentioned the community, our community, she said, what community? What community? So I don't have no time to be wasting thinking about what's good, what's right, what's evil, what's good. I don't have no time. These are things that folks, you know, control your mind and tell you, oh, this is right, this is wrong, all this right and wrong in the world, and none of us are powerful. That's why I don't go to church, because a lot of broke pocket people are in church. A lot of people mind, body, and spirit broken. I don't have no time for that nonsense. I sit there every day, people crying and praying and fasting and praying for and the money that they have there dropping in orphan page. You could go save that or go invest that. I don't have time for it. I'm building and I don't want to be around people with their negative mindset and their war boat mentality. Every day you're fighting. I don't fight with people. I don't argue with people. And if you come into my life and that's what you're bringing, you're cut. I cut you off. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm also going to say this. Stop telling people your business. Okay. You see, I was having a conversation with my sister and I was saying to her, you know, I'm baking some things. Recently we hear the expression baking. Some man said he was killing somebody and he was just baking it, baking. I'm baking, I'm baking. I have some buns in the oven. And while it's baking, I'm not opening my oven to show it to you. Because what happens when you're baking, you open it, your, your, your cake is going to sink. And the same people you open it to show it to, uh, when it sinks and you cut it and you put it on the plate, they're going to say, it didn't turn out good. Stop showing people your cake when it's in the oven. Again, we were I was talking to my sister and I was saying to her, when you're pregnant and the one, a, a woman who is sensible, when she's pregnant, usually doesn't tell anybody she's pregnant until she's at least three months when she passed the first trimester. Why? Because there's a possibility for you to have a miscarriage. And so you tend not to tell anybody until it seems like you're out of the danger zone. When you get pregnant and you go to the doctor and he does a test and he tells you that you're pregnant, uh, do you say, oh my goodness, I want to see the baby? And if you ask him to show you the baby, what would happen? That baby would not survive. So your dreams, your aspiration, the things in your life that you're trying to create for yourself, stop opening your mouth and telling people about it while it's in, in, it's in your womb. The seed is germinating in your womb. The seed is there growing to the point where it can be viable. Where the baby can be born. Where a lot of us are giving birth. A lot of us have children to give birth to. We have, we have you know, finances to give birth to. We have freedom to give birth to. And we keep on opening our mouth and, sh and, and open our oven and showing people where the cake is baking. Or, and we don't realize, oh my gosh, I, gosh, I have all these wonderful ideas. And when you look, look at yourself, pff, it comes to nothing because you chat too fucking much. You talk too much. And you don't realize that is your own mouth that is like a condemnation to you. Your own mouth. 
showing and telling all your business. I'm guilty. But when you get older and you learn and you start to understand things in the spiritual realm, you must learn from it and you must demonstrate it. Also too, I don't give free advice anymore. My time is valuable. Wasting my time telling people all kinds of stuff. And at the end of the day, they grow and you are sinking though. I'm not on that anymore. My time is valuable. I find ways how to use my time and I pick and choose who I share that with. Okay. I'm going to make it very, very clear here. As the new year approaches, I am about freedom in my mind my body and spirit. I'm freeing those things. I'm about creating the reality that I wish to see. See, not, not your life, not what you're doing, what, what you're aspiring to achieve. My own set of goals, I have them here. And I intend to walk my path. I came into earth by myself. One seed planted in a woman's womb and stayed there and flourished. And grew up to be where I'm at. And I don't get to be 53 years old. And not learn a few things along the way. I don't want a hundred friends that are useless. I'd rather have five that are empowering. Those individuals who can teach me tools. Who can show me how to be better. To grow from strength to strength. I don't have time to surround myself with people who every day all they're doing is crying. And they're not trying to do anything to change the reason why they're crying. Feeling sorry for themselves and then wanting me to feel sorry for you. Meanwhile, you make up your mind that this is your reality. This is your situation. And I'm avoiding people who chat a bag of things talking about they want to do this, that, and the other and draw you into this bullshit with them. Meantime, they have no intention of doing any such thing. Asking you to join them in this so-called journey. And when you realize they're not planning to go nowhere, they're just wasting your time and wasting your energy and, and, and making a fool of you. I don't have time for it. I don't have patience for it. I'm saying very clearly to you that if I am allowed to cross over this imaginary boundary of 2019 to 2020, I have no intention to waste my energy and talking about things that are, that I've been like that for 400 or 500 years. I have no time to say one group of people is more wicked than the other because all of us are wicked. And at the end of the day, you people can't come into your life and do harm to you unless you invite them. Most of the time, the people we claim are evil or wicked are the ones we invited and we refuse to close the door and let them out. So as far as my social media is, I don't want anybody on it that I don't know. If I don't know you, I don't want you on my Facebook. I don't want to come with your negativity. Furthermore, I use my phone uh, for all kinds of business. And when you have people added, you see all, you hear all these messages coming in throughout the day. It's annoying. I don't have time to sit down on social media. I'm a 53 year old woman. I don't have time to spread bed on social media, you know, getting into fights with people every day, arguing back and forth. Your opinion is your opinion and mine is mine. I don't have time to fight with you. I, I say yes, you say no. We agree to disagree. And if you can't learn to respect other people's feelings, when you see someone hold on to their position, you hold on to yours and you move along. Because it, every time you spend, you know, getting into these ridiculous conflict with people, disagreeing with folks over nonsense, with, you know, at the end of the day, me and you, uh, you right and I'm wrong. What difference does it make? You're in the same situation as I am. You're still there not doing anything. You're still there wishing and pretending that you have the ability to change your reality when you're not different from anybody else. You're just the same. Just talk, all talk, all talk and nothing else. All talk. And as you get an idea, you tell the whole world and it's, you fail to realize that as you tell the world your idea, 
you know, they're canceling it. You can't create. You're wondering what the hell is wrong with my life because you told the wrong person your business. You share your, your secrets or your dreams with the wrong person. Not everybody who come into your life is sent there to bless you. Some of them are cursed. Some are like devils. They just come to provoke your spirit. And if they used to bless you and they stop blessing you, you release them. The period is over. The time is over. They have no more purpose in your damn life. Let them go. Let people go. Stop holding on to people, especially if they're negative. If they're bringing out rage and, and resentment and anger in you, let them go. Find out why you're poor. Find out why you're sad. Find out why you're miserable. Find that damn spirit and release it. And don't stay stuck on anybody. When it's time for you to move on from listening to me, you'll move on to listen. I listen to people all the time and after a while they, they no longer serve my purpose. I move along. And if you're not doing something, if you're just crying about the same damn things, just looking for excuses, you know, or looking for this, this and that and nitpicking on every time. And while you're busy doing that, what, what are you achieving in your life? What are you doing? What goals do you have for yourself? You're just busy looking for all the bad things in the world. Well, that's all you're going to see. You're looking for all the bad things in people. That's all you'll see. Why don't you look for the good in yourself? Why don't you look for the creative elements within yourself, within your spirit and bring more of that? I don't have time for it and I don't have the patience and I don't want to cuss bad words because I will. I want to use that rage to create the reality that I seek. It's been years. It's been a long time. I've been going through all kinds of stuff in my life. And because I didn't understand how to process that, I didn't know how to get myself out of it mentally. I kept looking at the things that are wrong as opposed to the things that are right. And that's what I'm trying to do. And I don't have time for you if you are just a negative Nelly who just try to take over people's life and tell people how to live their life. Try to control people with your own mindset. You and I are not twins. We don't have the same mind. We don't have the same body. We're not Siamese. And even if we were, we have two different minds. I'm moving forward in creating a better reality for myself than the one I had before. Nobody taught me how to do that. And those who are interested in learning, I'm here for them. But I ain't here for the BS. I'm not here for the drama. And I'm not going to extend myself or stretch myself to the limits where people push me over the edge. I'm not going to do that. Okay? So as far as the social media thing, I don't want anybody on my Facebook. Let it be. It's just, no, no, we're not going to do the Facebook thing. I do the YouTube. You want to watch it. Thank you for watching. You don't want to watch it. Skip. Just keep it moving. Because right now, I'm not on you, your thing. I'm not on your level. I'm not crying about the wickedness and the wicked people in the world. They are going to be here. There has to be polar opposite. There's good, bad must present itself and vice versa. I don't have time for it. I don't have time to call out this one is evil and this one is good. We're all evil and all of us are wicked. All of us are good when we want to be. These are all social constructs. What is good? What is right? What is evil? It's nonsense. I don't have time for it. Just doing me. Walking into my own purpose. Seeking greatness. Seeking to align myself with people who are demonstrating that they know how this thing works. They are examples to show that they got power and they know how to use it. Stay blessed, everybody.